What does the world think of us? Cut.com, which is probably a website, asked a bunch of foreigners for their thoughts on people from the U.S. I was curious, even though we Americans tend to be incurious. So I braced myself for the old anti-American stereotypes, and I clicked play. Vorurteil. Das heißt nicht, dass es wirklich stimmt. Aber viele denken, dass Amerikaner halt dumm sind, hauptsächlich Fast Food essen und ja, sehr patriotisch sind. Okay. Ich denke, dass die Chinesen für die USA haben eine Amerikaner-Mann. Und sie sagen, dass sie in der Amerika sein sollen, dass sie nur die Amerikaner sein sollen, dass sie in der Amerika sein Hey, I like that last one. See, they weren't all bad. Let's take a look at the rest of the video. Maybe there's more people out there who have nice things to say about us. Entretenimiento. Está muy relacionado con todo lo que tiene que ver con el espectáculo. America. In love to American culture. Watching MTV, Britney Spears, uh, Justin Timberlake, uh, Jersey Shores, uh, Friends. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I love that. What people around the world think of us, Jedediah. Yeah. Uh, why is it? Why is it that there is this kind of idea? that people in Europe and the rest of the world don't like America. Because oftentimes they don't. And I kept thinking of that trip I took to Paris when I was in high school, and it was me, my mom, and my dad. And my dad walked around the city with his great big American flag t-shirt that on the back said, we're better than you. <laughs> and maybe that's why they don't like us, because they feel like we throw our country in their face. Now, I'm as patriotic as they come, but, uh, you know, I kind of get why it's a mixed bag in terms of how the rest of the world views us sometimes. I it's do. your dad. Your it. dad did it? My, it's my dad. Basically, everything that happens that's wrong in this world, you can blame Tony Biela. They never forgave ball. us for that never shirt. For the sh it was, and it, I mean, there were firecrackers on the shirt. It was as ostentatious, <laughs> Tom, as you could imagine, and uh, he wore it proudly. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. Julie. Yes. Uh, if we're so bad, why did you move here? I have forced against, but you, know, you gave away my cover. <laughs> I gave it away in the intro. I'm not really here to live among you oh my for gosh. good reasons. Julie, you I was. Blew it. Oh. You blew it. Look, and right I now know they're you. transmitting instructions to me. And they're like, who is this guy? Why do you blow my... I know you 30, love America. 35 years, Shalun, you blew my cover. Look, why do so many other people uh, overseas hold it against us, hold our greatness against us? Um, because we've opened McDonald's on every single corner in Paris. And so mm -hmm. that instead of getting your patisserie, you're now able to get the Big Mac or whatever the... Pulp Fiction equivalent of the Quarter Pounder was that I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Royale with cheese. We thanks to us. <laughs> thanks to us. Thanks to us. They Those are now French getting cheese. They are getting. They are getting French obese. fries. They are, getting, yeah. they are getting. <laughs> they are getting obese thanks to our delicious yes. Big Macs. We didn't walk over there and airlift a McDonald's. Yeah, they we said, did. We want some McDonald's. Yeah. Please do, bring do them to us. They the asked Berlin. for McDonald's. You don't know about the Berlin airlift? That's exactly. We're dropping White Castle. It was a whole disaster. You can blame Kennedy for that one. Eric, Amer Americans are all bad, but when they kidnap our daughters, Liam Neeson has to go over there and get him back, right? That's yeah. right, man. That's what America's for. And he's Irish. <laughs> yeah. He's not even American. Oh, Irish American. No. Is he Irish? Yeah, well, he's yeah. a second I think man. his character was American all 100%. Uh, but that, I'm talking, the thing is, we're awesome, right? Yeah, we are the best. Yeah. Isn't that the, the bottom line? <laughs> Triple underscore, we are awesome. Yeah. yeah. And there was a mix of people, right? There was a lot of people who, who thought we were okay, the American dream, all that stuff. Well, mm -hmm. they all probably think that they're awesome, too, though. Mm -hmm. like, no. Uh, you don't think so? You I, think I, I all those had, countries have low self-esteem? I, I, I was just in Germany and France, and they hate themselves. Oh, they are wow. really. You need to go to therapy nationally. <laughs> they think their lives suck. They just became more attractive to me. I like that self-loathing, you know? That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Marco, that's why you're attracted to Marco Rubio. There you go. Let me go to Jimmy. You yeah. count as a foreigner because you drove a cab. I what do you think? Honorary. Uh, you know, I think you always hear the connotation that people base their opinions on a state or a town uh, based on what they see from the highway when they drive through. Like, <laughs> the stereotype is like New Jersey's all oil refineries and garbage dumps because that's what you see on the highway. Mm. I think uh, this opinion is based on their experience of traveling through our country, which is what? Disney World. If you've ever been to Disney World, we really do look. It's just fat people on scooters eating turkey legs. 
<laughs> that's all it is. They don't even have rides anymore. You just dodge the fat people. You're basically just there to improve your own self-worth. And I think these people have all visited Disney World. I think that's the common thread. Look, I went down to Disney World. I know mm -hmm. the stereotype, but I thought it was a gr I had a great time there. I love Disney. Pound for pound, it's a great place. Yeah. <laughs> I do, no? Ounce for ounce. No pun yeah, intended. Great. But do you know why people are a little bit heavy in America? Yeah. Because we're the land of plenty and we're, we, we have something called freedom. Isn't that right, Jedediah? That's mm. true. But you know, it is a mixed bag. Like, you know, I was, I was expecting to hear all negative things, but they did have positive things to say, too. So like any country, if you went through the streets of New York <laughs> and you asked people, what's your perception of Parisians or what's uh -huh. your perception of, I guarantee you, you'd get some positive, you'd get some negative. I, people are always saying, oh, the French are so rude. I have plenty of French friends. They're not rude. They're not rude at all. The I love the French. That's a good question. So yeah, that's I love the happens. French. And you know why? Because they love our McDonald's. Who do we like? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Who do no, we like? We like everybody. Why do you think we we're dropping bombs on our enemies to keep freedom <laughs> rolling around the world? We're invaded like every country well, in the world. Come on. I just, I just think they don't understand us. Because the one guy who did praise us said he loves Jersey Shore. Which is oh, like yeah. clearly not our proudest moment. Yeah. Um, Apologies to Snooki. I know. I'm well, sorry, I'm sure the British can't stand that I love Benny Hill. Coming up. <laughs>